Hello everyone, I'm Bros here, and in this video we're going to take a look at this Biosyn helicopter from Jurassic World Dominion. It's available in this set with Giganotosaurus, which I opened and reviewed earlier on the channel. And this helicopter is pretty good, but it's not without flaws, it's not exactly like in the movie. And as you can see right here, there are some questionable color choices, as well as some weird shapes that I think I could fix and make them look good. Especially a big issue is this engine, because it actually should be connected to this upper pylon like this straight white one and this black one should be angled so that should be fixed. Here is the list of parts that I'm going to be using for this helicopter. Keep in mind that some of them are actually parts from a brand named Kobe so it's possible that you don't have access to all of them. However I hope that this can give you some sort of an inspiration for your own fix of this helicopter because I'm pretty sure that with those parts it's going to look pretty much spot on. So we're going to start with the helicopter like it looks in the instructions and now that we are prepared for the surgery I'm going to start by ripping the whole thing apart basically. The reason for that is that I actually have to get into the bottom right there because there are two pieces that need a color change. They definitely need a color change so after we remove that here are two one by one studs which are black and I really would like to change them into white because that's going to make just the helicopter look a little bit cleaner and that's pretty much the goal that I have. So now I can just reattach all those pieces back and now we get to the cockpit where this piece should not be dark grey, it should definitely be white. So let's just sweep, let's quickly swap the color and just reattach everything and for a little bit more of detail I'm going to add this keyboard to like give the helicopter some more controls or whatever. Now moving on to the tail, we definitely don't need those dark grey pieces. I don't know why they didn't use black pieces here, but that's what we are going to fix. We're going to add this jumper plate as well as a regular plate, but you can just as well use three jumper plates or whatever. This is just my uh, choice here. And I'm also going to remove those two things in order to work on those pylons, because they should not be like that. I'm going to change this into a snot brick one by one in white color to make everything look much more cleaner and while those are attached we can add this piece this is the same thing that was here previously with no changes right now now we're gonna take a look at the tail because that does need some adjustment we're gonna get rid of this wedge plate because it's not present in the helicopter let's get rid of this as well for a second because now we're going to focus on this this little like cheese wedge it's not exactly ideal and i'm going to get uh, one of the cobby pieces because they just fit much more better in terms of, terms of shape the color is slightly off but it's okay if you ask me now also I'm going to change that for a black piece because this is jumper plate is actually visible so I definitely want that in black. Moving on I'm going to remove this plate because I just want to make sure that here this inverted slope is actually black not white like they uh, gave us in the instructions. I'm also going to attach a plate not the same one a different one a bit shorter and uh, also just to make the thing a bit more thick I'm going to add one more even shorter plate. And now that we have that, I can work on this like back rotor by just taking this bigger rotor piece and adding a stud with the hole inside in order to attach it later on. And we're going to take that piece in order to attach it and just this goes right here. We can cover it up with this tail piece and now the rotor goes right where it belongs. It doesn't spin as well as it did, but I think that's all pretty much fine for me at least. And just to get rid of those two stars, I'm going to cover them with this grill piece, which is white in color, and that looks much, much better than the tail did previously. At least that is my opinion. We can just attach this straight onto the back of the helicopter, and this is precisely how it should look in my opinion. Now here we just have this thing is without changes for now, because we're going to actually change some colors like those two pieces which are supposed to attach to the like the doors they should surely be in black i have no idea why they chose dark gray but i'm also going to change this into a white piece because with that everything looks way cleaner than it did previously and now with that with this is done i can actually this is one more change i'm going to put two one by one bricks right in here instead of those like one by two slope pieces and I'm going to use one by one slope pieces, those curved slopes, because uh, later on we're going to work on those pylons and I want everything to fit in the way it should. So with that we are done with that, we can reattach those two pieces without any changes, they look pretty good the way they are. 
they make everything look nice and smooth. And now that this is done, we can just put on this 2x4 white brick on top. And next up, we can just reattach the doors, because those doors are actually pretty nice. I love the stickers that are on those doors. And with that done, we can get rid of those two pylons, because they're bad. And instead of that, we're going to use this 2x10 piece to attach right here. And cover it up with some slopes, as well as some more grill pieces, in order to just give it a little bit more of decoration, as well as some integrity. Because we do really want that. This goes right here, where it belongs. And all we have to do right now is reattach this windscreen. And what we can work on now are the engines, which are pretty much the most important change of them all. If you ask me, we get rid of the engine and the pin as well. And now we have to elongate those dark pylons by adding those three pieces. And yeah, this stick piece as well as this round one by one piece go right here. And we have to do that again for the second pylon, which will obviously go on the other side of the helicopter. And now that they are attached, we have to elongate them with the pieces that we actually already have from the helicopter. And now, with both of them done, what we have to do is actually use those one by one snot bricks by attaching this little piece right here. And we can easily attach those pylons to either side of the helicopter and make everything look perfectly and just the way it should look. And right now I'm going to take care of those upper pylons by reusing some of the bricks that we actually have from the helicopter. This is a cobby piece, and we have to actually just elongate them. You know, they look way better when they are longer, so we just have that. And to this final snot brick we're going to be attaching the engines later on. We simply have to mirror that for the other pylon, which will go on the other side of the helicopter. The 1x4 piece, then this snot on the end. And also we're going to use this one by one tile to make everything look nice and smooth, just like that. Then we simply attach them to the bottom of this one by ten plate that we attached here earlier. And this one goes on the other side. Now the engines get attached to the, each of the ends of the helicopter. And just like that, see, it is angled the way it should be angled. Now it looks way closer to what actually this helicopter looked like in Dominion, which is precisely what we had in mind. And all we have to do is attach the rotor. And finally, well, we do need to put the pilot in there, so here goes Kayla, and we close everything, and the helicopter is ready to fly, and thank you very much for watching, and as always, have a good day. Helicopter noises.